So Dr. Vijay has assured me that he'll have the last word today, so I'll be brief. Um, first of all, um, this, uh, this event couldn't, couldn't have been possible without all the help we've had um, here at ASU and from our partners, our speakers, and all of you as attendees. Um, I do want to single out um, April Johnson. Um, she's been my right-hand person in organizing this. In addition, uh, Stephanie Calderon, Nicole Hernandez, um, Craig Woods, my colleague at IFH, as well as the staff here at uh, ASU Health Futures uh, and our live stream team. Um, and, and Matt, I really want to thank you. I think I, I can't imagine um, a better person to come out to really kick off this effort in Arizona. And um, I have to say, I think, uh, I think we were really lucky to, to get you, and, and I'm, it's really a pleasure to have you here. Um, and in fact, I, I have to say, um, I thought your slide deck was a little long until I heard you start speaking, and I've never seen someone go through so much so quickly, so effectively, so that was amazing. I wanted to say that, but I'm glad you said it. Um, and um, I do disagree with your, your statement that cardiologists are not the sharpest tool in the shed, but uh, otherwise I agreed 100% with what you said. Um, and you know, a couple observations struck me that um, you know, we talk about community, and I think this is really a good example of our community coming together. Uh, we have um, Arizona Heart Foundation sonography students here, and that was really kind of a bonus, um, so thank you. Um, we have, you know, practitioners from primary care, from geriatrics, we have advanced practice providers, we have pharmacists. We really have so many people that um, I think, uh, you know, haven't seen in one place. And furthermore, we also have great um, uh, specialists. I think I probably learned the most from our pathologists, our neurologists, our hematologists. I think for me as a cardiologist, it was really extremely instructive, and I think I've never um, had that, as well as our primary care uh, representatives. And so, you know, in this world of Zoom and post-COVID, it's just it's so, not, it's so refreshing to be, you know, in the room with, with people. And uh, you know, just a couple of housekeeping. We will have everything available online on YouTube. Uh, CME credit will be available if you fill out the survey. Um, so here I'll turn it over to uh, Dr. Vijay. Sunday already summarized uh, uh, and really appreciated everybody's input. Of course, the input from all the faculty members uh, has really been phenomenal, and all the principals are now hopefully uh, getting embedded into our DNA, right? I mean, it's phenomenal. So give all the faculty members a big applause. <laughs> and of course, applause for the audience here and also the people who are online that uh, Sandeep already met. So give them another round of applause because without you, it wouldn't be possible. We could declare a war if nobody came. <laughs> it do not mean anything, right? So, so and then thirdly, uh, of course, I want to uh, thank and appreciate what Sandesh has done. Uh, he's then uh, really uh, uh, aligned all the, all the dots and, and crossed all the T's and really delivered something phenomenal and, and brought this program to fruition. So give Sandesh a big, a big hand. <laughs> and finally, uh, you know, I always believed uh, that, uh, you know, be, being lighthearted uh, you know, pre prevents you from heart attacks and strokes. So that's been my philosophy and principle all my life. So be lighthearted, joke around, and have fun, and do this and do that. And, and, and I thought that I was uh, doing pretty good in my practice and engaging patients, like Matt said, that he could patient's voice. And I wrote a book, uh, you know, about my own patients and my, my, through my life, calling Invoking Your Inner Therapy. That's the title of my book. I wrote it recently in Heart Failure and for the lay community and for everybody. And, and I thought I was doing a pretty good job. And, and I had this patient who had diagnosed with amyloid and had uh, you know, severe aortic stenosis, 84 years old, and his wife had died 10 years ago, and uh, had severe aortic stenosis. He has a loud murmur. He's waiting, waiting for a tower, and uh, he's hard of hearing. And so uh, he'd come to see me, and he's waiting. And 
Uh, so I see him in the mall, you know, I never go to the mall. My wife said, no, no, I want you with me, I'm, you've got to go something. I said, okay, I'm going to the mall. Suddenly I see this 84-year-old guy with, with a beautiful uh, young blonde, and he's on the other side of the mall, and he's like waving it to me. And the way, you know, you know the doctor, the girl says, uh, then a week later he comes back to see me, and he says, uh, I look at him and I say, you're doing pretty good for yourself, aren't you? He said, yeah, 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 doc, I'm, I'm following your advice. Following my advice, and I'm like suddenly, I said, what did I say? He said, but you said, get a hot mama and be cheerful. <laughs> and suddenly, it occurred to me that between my accent and his hearing, it got lost in translation. He said, get a hot mama and be cheerful. No, 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 I said, you got a hot murmur, be careful. <laughs> Again, thank you all for coming. Be lighthearted, have fun, have a fantastic day.